All right, so here it is. This is my 2022 uh, tournament kayak. It's the Feel Free Lure 10 V2. Um, I've had several 11 and a halfs, and I've actually had the Mokin 12 and a half V2, and I've pretty much loved all of them. Um, but I miss the the main stability of the Lure series, the seat, and just you know everything about it. So I will briefly go over what all I have on this particular kayak. Um, I've drilled a few things and pretty much everything else is just mounted to the to the Unitrack. So I will start up here at the bow and let's see. So to start off with, I just have the Rogue Fishing, um, I don't even, I can't even remember what the name of that is, but it's basically a uh, kayak tether or handle or you know uh drag rope um, and then from there we'll look inside the hatch and of course everything that i have is powered by bixby um, i've had a great relationship with bixby over the years and that is the pp166 battery in there i use that to power um, the yak power lights that i'll show you and of course i've got my uh, garmin uh, uhd 73 sv so that's my depth finder um, i've used it to pretty much uh, power my unit for several days um, without any issues of course i've added the lights this year you know we'll see how how that does but i i don't expect anything to you know to have any issues or anything like that so that's pretty much everything that's in there. As you can see, the nice thing about these, um, the Bixby battery is everything is sealed. Um, it's tightened. It's got washers, and you know you don't. If you end up getting water in there, uh, those those connectors will pretty much keep everything, you know, nice and dry. So as I close the hatch, I will go back to the pod area. Now I am running the. Bixby J2 outboard this year. Um, last year and in the previous years, I've run the uh, the J1 outboard, and everything worked, you know, fine. But with this one, you'll know that the connectors are actually, you know, screwed on, and you know you can't necessarily easily take it off as you did before, which I'm fine with because I have the the pod, so I just easily take the pod in and out. Um, but as you can see here. Another thing that's nice with Bixby, um, they sell with their 166 kits. This is a USB port, and I'll use this to uh, connect my camera. Um, in previous years, I've had it in the back, but I'll go ahead and put it up front this year, since every you know that that USB port there makes it really nice, um, you know, for powering it pretty much all day. And. Let me put that back in there. And I don't keep anything inside the pod. It's basically just a you know storage place if I wanted to. Now, moving back, of course, I mentioned the Garmin unit. Um, of course, I love this one because it's all touchscreen, has side scan. Um, you know, I've had, this is the, I guess, second year I've had it. And, you know, it's it's worked well for me. And then, of course... Going down, I have the Yak Attack uh, Transducer Arm Kit. And of course, when I'm traveling, the seat will be down, but I can just flip this over and it's, you know, out of the way. And then, of course, let's see. I can put it down, and then when I'm ready to use the unit, I'll just push it down even further. So that works out. Let's see. Along the same lines with uh, Yak Attack, I have the anchor trolley hd on here i've pretty much had that particular one on all of my kayaks and i've loved it um, mainly only use it in the rivers i don't tend to anchor up or you know keep position in the lakes i just use my my motor for that and then i have a combination of yak attack ram uh, ram mounts the several one objective uh, mounts and then some yak gadget mounts so i have pretty much you know a good amount of of brands on here you know i'm not really tied to any specific one but 
you know, they all seem to work really well. Now, of course, there's the gravity seat um, with the high back. Definitely one of the best feeling seats I've had on a kayak. And then moving back, I've got the Bixby battery back there for my outboard. And the feel free crate bag. And then with my rod setup, I mean, I have five in the kayak right now. I have plenty of space for others, but that's pretty much all that I'm going to, to use most of the time. Now, as you can see, I have the beaver tail rudder on. By far one of the best, uh, best purchases for pretty much any of the lure series or Moken series that can take it. And then I have my catch board. When I saw that uh, Yak Gadget put this out, I was like, great, that's, that's perfect. Um, you know, to just for travel and, of course, for using it. Um, I never really knew what to do with the, the catch board other than throw it behind me or try and stick it underneath the seat. So that works out really well. And then I have the uh, floating net from, I think I bought it from Line Cutters. Had that for many years, and it, it works perfectly. And as you can see, there's some... You've got the Yak Power Lights back there in the tank well. And I'll show you how I have that controlled. And here's the remote for everything. I went with the wireless setup. So one turns off the light that... I'll show you in a minute for, you know, early mornings when I'm getting out there and need some light. I'll, of course, I'll have my headlamp on as well, but, you know, that's something that you can't ever have too much light when you're going out early in the morning. You never know what's in front of you. And then stern lights, and then, of course, I've got my mid set up for right up there, right where the pod is. But I'll turn one back on so you can see that when we go up there. Now with this, um, that's the Yak Attack, uh, I think it's the double header, it's the paddle holder, um, you know, most of the time when I'm using the motor, I don't even have the paddle in my hand, so that works, so just, you know, stick it right there and, and leave it. And as you move up, I've got the Yak Attack cup, but with the one, obje uh, one objective, you know, kind of accessory plate that goes on top of that. And that works out perfectly. You know, I can stick my pliers in right now. I just have my phone tether right there. And then here's the light I was talking about. It's just mounted to the rail. And as you can see, I have the Yak Attack through hole kit on actually both sides. One is for the Garmin, and then the other is for the USB light. And then one thing I didn't mention was the one objective keel guard. Um, that's one of the most recent things I've put on there. I've never really worried about it in the past, but I figured for this year I would go ahead and, you know, put one on. All right, and that is pretty much it. Now with my with my baits and things that I use most of the time, I've got a an Amazon, well, I had something, some kind of plastic tub that I got from Amazon. I use it every now and then depending on how high I keep the seat. I like to keep it at this level. It's not all the way up, uh, maybe seven inches or so, but that's enough room to slide, you know, anything I want underneath there. So that is it. That's this year's kayak setup. Um, it's a pretty simple setup, I guess, in my opinion. If you all have any questions or comments or anything, hey, just feel free to, you know, put them down in the comment section. And I'll have everything linked in the description, or pretty much everything. Uh, if I forget something, just let me know course Bixby I will have an affiliate link if you all want to you know purchase anything um, that helps fund some of the 
some of the the goodies on, on this particular kayak and and the tournament season. So I appreciate you watching, and uh, take care.